Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech of the Week. Non-fungible tokens. What's up with them? Coinbase co-founder Fred Ursum stated that he believes that 90% of NFTs will be worthless in the next few years in an interview on Bloomberg TV. Let's talk about this. Cryptocurrencies have been increasing in popularity ever since 2009, when Bitcoin started. Ever since that year, there have been many new cryptocurrencies introduced, and an entire internet market has been established. Now, non-fungible tokens are being used to create monetary value off of art on the internet. Will they all work? Hard to say. But I can tell you that increased competition does lead to your products and services having a tougher time seeing the light of day. Does this mean that all cryptocurrencies will be worthless in the future? No. But I would advise caution when investing in these volatile products. Research accordingly, and also think about what people would consider valuable in the future. Think like your customer. Like Space Gray? Apple has stopped selling Space Gray magic accessories. According to MacRumors.com, Apple discontinued the Space Gray Magic Keyboard with Keypad, Magic Mouse 2, and Magic Trackpad 2 following the company seizing sales of the iMac Pro in the same color. This is the Apple Alarm Clock. This is the Night Watch, a charging dock, magnifying glass, and speaker. This device connects to your Apple Watch to turn it into an alarm clock. All you need to do is dock your Apple Watch and boom, you have a simple alarm clock. This is a pretty cool device, but watch out for your wallet, it's $50. Hate ads? Got an Oculus? Unfortunately, Facebook announced that it's testing advertisements on the Oculus VR headsets, so you'll see singles in your area in VR. The ads will start appearing in AFBS called Blastin, with more apps receiving support for them later on. All the ads that appear in the Oculus will follow the same Facebook advertising principles that it uses, including personalized advertisements and hiding ads or advertisers. But Facebook assured that they will not be based on the data from the device sensors or images of the user's hands. YouTube has stopped accepting ads that relate to alcohol, gambling, politics, or prescription drug terms from the top homepage ad spot. This is intended to make the website more friendly to all visitors and be more inclusive. The discontinuation does not, however, apply to other ad spots, such as the ones at the beginning or end of videos or mid-rolls. For the rumor of the week, Windows 11 has been seemingly confirmed after Microsoft Japan registered a DMCA complaint against Bebom, which is an Indian tech publication for handing out Windows 11 copies. The DMCA does show that Microsoft is very interested in maintaining its intellectual properties. There will probably be more news on this subject on June 24th during the Microsoft's What's Next for Windows live online event. Thanks for watching. If you'd like any tech covered, contact me via this email. All the sources are linked down below and check out the other cool videos that I have in the description. Have a wonderful day.